when uh, I came back from America after my treatment and I asked them that can I work from home uh, because I won't be able to attend college I hope you'll be able to give me my attendance but that I remember what that professor then told me uh, he says you know Raghav just never attach a PT coefficient to your life so very often I would meet a lot of people who would know me from the television screen and then they would ask me but why are you using a stick because you know you don't see it on a TV screen and I said you don't see it on a TV screen because the TV screen takes a frame in which there is no need for for a stick this company was built uh, in a, you know at a time when I was also uh, uh, had a disability to uh, to negotiate the whole network 18 story would have been incomplete if that factor was not in there Well, it was always a hobby in uh, college and then uh, I did do a fair amount of professional media as well. Worked with uh, Newsline which was a Doordarshan program done by MJ Akbar and Vinod Dua. And then for about three years worked with uh, Newstrack which was a professional uh, media uh, product. So media was always um, a parallel love along with the world of uh, business. Uh, you know, this is the early 90s, we were not getting too much work. We were sitting that evening in the edit suite and, and, and pretty glum with ourselves and we said, you know, this is not going anywhere. So we might as well just cut all the contractual work that we were doing for others. We might as well launch our own ship. And there was Racy and there was CB and there was I and we said, you know, I think time has come to now launch ourselves. And while we were talking about all of this uh, all of this, all of these plans, you know, a little bit glum, a little bit excited because we were thinking something new, but glum because things were not going anywhere. Um, news came that, uh, uh, you know, former Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi had been assassinated. So I remember that evening so well. So it's just a superstition. Uh, and like all... Uh, human beings we all have our moments of weakness and uh, uh, we were going through a, as I said a very workless patch in the early 90s and we, when we had to choose a name you said well if 18 brings luck why not call it TV 18 because TV 9 was a well known channel 9 was a very well known uh, media company in the world uh, so you know television companies do get named uh, by the channel numbers so numbers work very well in TV companies so TV 18 Uh, this is late 90s. I remember I'd come back from London uh, the night before and therefore was a bit jet lagged when I got a call early in the morning from Colonel Dadwal saying that, you know, the studios on the office is on fire. So a fire in the basement is a is very hazardous because the smoke gets trapped, uh, water comes in, uh, you know, and its access is not as easy as it would be if, 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 if it was on the ground. Uh, but a lot of people I could see had formed chains, were going inside, trying to salvage tapes, and I was astonished. I was absolutely astonished by uh, what human spirit is. Uh, people didn't have to do it. People didn't have to put their lives in danger. The fire had come at a moment where we were planning an IPO. A lot of good things were happening for the company. And suddenly everything was a question mark. We suddenly sat down, exhausted, uh, wondering what, will, what the future holds. How will we come out of this? Uh, will the IPO happen? Uh, and you know, everyone was feeling so down and so out and so exhausted that suddenly we saw this uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, an ice cream vendor going by and I just said, you know, come on, we've got to lift our spirits. What I, what's happened has happened. Now we need to figure out how we fight on from here. So, you know, we just asked the ice cream vendor to stop. We said, come on, just give everyone some ice creams. And I think some of us had two ice creams, someone had one. Uh, so the ice cream became a sort of a symbol of the fight back. You know, I, I honestly, I'm very comfortable dealing with Americans. Uh, uh, American business uh, businessmen or companies or corporations, uh, you know, they they negotiate hard. But once they've done a contract, they stick to their contract. I think they found us. They found us a an atypical Indian corporation. Usually, Indian companies try and sort of cut corners or try and take advantage of being on home turf. Try and interpret contracts to their own 
from a sort of narrow personal perspective or narrow, uh, uh, you know, to their own uh, advantage perspective. We never did something like that. We were very clear that if something is written in the contract, uh, we are bound by it. We are bound not just by the letter of the contract, we are bound by the spirit of the contract.